What's going on guys, Ivan here. I'm gonna show you how to turn this lower cost Ivan S7 string, an RG7321 FM, and give it a prestige and premium sound and feel by changing out the hardware, the electronics, the nut, and the tuner. So let's get started. All right guys, what we need to do first is change out the bridge and the nut. And those two are the most important things to be able to actually give it more clarity and more sustain and resonance. Um, that's what I look for, especially when a guitar is not plugged in is just being able to just hear the notes throughout the whole guitar and that's one thing I'm looking for. So we had to change out the cheap Gibraltar Standard 7 that's already on there that came stock with the guitar with a hip shot IB7 which is made out of steel and brass. That'll give you that extra clarity and fullness once you, especially when you strum the guitar. But on top of that, the nut is another situation and I'll explain that in a minute. All right guys, so we're gonna swap out this Ibanez stock Gibraltar 7 by removing it with a Phillips screwdriver. Already looking good. All right, see that ground wire that's popping out? Make sure that's in contact with the new bridge, unless you want a noisy guitar afterwards. So make sure that's nice and everything else is placed well and screwed in well. And we'll move on to removing the nut afterwards. Cool. All right guys, so what we need to do is actually score out the nut where it meets the headstock and the fretboard because we had to tap it out nicely without any breaks. All right, guys, now that we have the nut removed, I'm gonna show you a quick drop test. This is something that I learned from Paul Reed Smith on YouTube. It kind of shows you the quality of the nut and the reason why I wanna be able to change it out because this is made out of plastic, this stock one in particular. And this one is an imitation bone synthetic nut made by Graftech called Black XL Tusk. So here we go. See, it's dull and lifeless. Now the Graftech. I mean, which one would you want, you know? Clarity, fullness, let's put this on. All right, now that we have the nut removed, we're gonna do a little sanding so it actually fits in nicely and snug, so. Make sure it's something like this with a 90 degree angle on each side, so. Let's just get all the, the glue off of it. Almost there, still not completely snug yet, but we're gonna file a little bit more. We're gonna use a little bit of super glue. In my experience, it kind of gives it more of a top end sound compared to wood glue. A little bit more brightness is not gonna hurt. So let's try it. All right, now that we have the nut in place, I put back the truss rod cover on and replaced the stock tuners with hip shot locking tuners for greater tuning stability and accuracy. On top of that, it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, damn, look at it. Okay, so we're about to take the electronics out and what we're gonna do is actually put copper foil to pretty much shield any kind of 60 cycle hum or any buzz that the guitar could pretty much pick up from anywhere else in general. So yeah, let's uh, do that. All right, now that we have all the electronics out, we could actually get to do some copper foil installation. And you can get these at Fry's if you're in California or anywhere else. Um, any electronic store would have copper foil EMI emitting conductive tape. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna put that there and on the other side as well, where the pickups were. So no bullshit kind of deal. So yeah, let's check it out. Guys, now that we have the cavities done with copper foil, we could actually connect them with ground wire. So let's do that real quick. So now that we have our copper wire cut, we're gonna go through here and add a little solder joint on this side and 
on this side as well. All right, cool. So there's a solder joint there. And there's a solder joint right there that connects both cavities. Now we're gonna actually do another connection to the back of the guitar. And once we finish this section, everything will be cool, yeah. Now covering the back cavity. Guys, so I have the back cavity all taken care of. I'm gonna put a jumper wire connecting to the front cavities to the back one, so it would all be grounded. So let's do that. So the pickups are on there. I'm going to change out the five-way selector switch we have here. And yeah, for something a little bit more high quality. Oak Grisby makes a three-way lever switch that you can find them in Tellys or, or any other guitar that has a three-way switch. But um, I'm going to put that in there. It's already pre-wired, ready to go. And at the same time, we're adding a bare knuckle 550K CTS volume pot. I'm not gonna put a tone pot in the circuit. I'm gonna have one there just for aesthetics. Maybe sometime in the future I wanna add it. If I, just in case if I sell the guitar or not. So yeah, let's do it. All right, great, so we pretty much have everything else all set except for the pickups and the grounding of the shield. Three-way selector switch is already on there, grounded the bridge, just left the tone pot as usual without having it in the circuit, so it's just in there chilling. So yeah, let's uh, finish it off. Okay, so all done. Soldering work is pretty cool. Everything looks good. And I put a little foil on the joint where the shield wire goes into the pot. The only thing I'm left to do is put more copper foil on this. So it would actually make contact and make a full shield here. So no interference or buzz or 60 cycle hum. This is what I also added too. I added these nice speed knobs, the hip shot knobs with the O-rings on top, the little rubber things going on. On the net, this is pretty much ready to go.
All right, guys, the guitar is finished, all done. I got it back from a technician and set up the guitar professionally, which I highly recommend you doing after doing mods like these. So, uh, like I said before, some resonance. Without plugging it in, it just sounds great. So let's test it out and plug it in um, and just make sure that everything's all nice and solid, you know what I mean? All right, to test it out, we gotta use a precision drive by Horizon Devices into my preamp, which is a Stam Audio 1073 EQ, into Pro Tools, into STL Tonality, Will Putney Edition plug-in, and we're gonna play some riffs. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it so much. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I have all applicable links to the hardware specifics, diagrams to the wiring in the description. Let me know any comments, questions. We'll be happy to answer that. Till next time.